let's have a little chat about the legendary edition, shall we? Because <laughs> I kind of want to know where you guys are at and what you think. So let's go with Alan first, because he's our less enthusiast, shall we say. He's basically our newbie, isn't he? Uh, well, I mean, yeah. uh, you say less enthusiast. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I love a good RPG. and it, it, It's, you know, it's it's Dragon Age, but in space, isn't it? I mean, ultimately, yes. it's, it's, yes, it it's the same game. Um, and I, I love Star Trek and Star Wars. So, you know, it kind of is up my alley. The only reason that I haven't played all of them is because I just kind of fell out and then never got back into it in the originally mm. when it was originally out. Um, but I did play number one and I played it two, through twice uh, to get two different endings um, back in the day, uh, but never finished number two. First impressions, I'd have to say the rose tinted glasses and nostalgia cards are, are very heavy with this one um <laughs> yes so that's very uh, fair never yeah not I, at I think, all. I think that is a fair assumption but that doesn't mean to say that it does you know you you, you it, they haven't made some really good improvements i mean graphically it's still yes in places it's it's very very pretty but the character models and animations are are still not great you know they're, they're 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 okay but and they've obviously been improved but compared to what we now see these days it's still you know you can still see it's an old game with old animations and stuff like that um and the way the voice the act the mouths move i think we can actually see it on screen now yeah, um yeah. but but you know all of that aside that doesn't matter because i've always been one of those people that's been like well it's not about the graphics for me it's about the gameplay and and how much fun i get out of it you know i mean chris is just mm -hmm. talking about playing a game where he's a cloud i'm sure that it was uh, 4k <laughs> ray tracing ultra hd <laughs> with that game um but yeah 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 of course yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah exactly yeah exactly i love to see a very pretty game i really really do i mean you know i love to see uh, a witcher on max performance when it came out witcher 3 world hunt i love to see you know uh some of the new games come out and they're just like the great you turn it on and the graphics are just like oh wow that is just amazing but if there's no gameplay there then it's pointless and one of the things i always enjoyed about mass effect was the story um and that hasn't changed as far as i can tell um, it still seems to be exactly the same story. I mean, I'm only a couple of hours in. The a problem is for me is that my experience wasn't great. The first okay. mission, literally the first mission, where you go to Eden Prime and you touch down and you fight the Geth all the way to the train station, basically to get onto the train. Yeah. I encountered two bugs in that first mission. And they were both bad bugs, and they really, really ruined my experience. And I have to say, I do not recall there ever being any bugs with the first game at all, ever. There are, but None. they're, they're, I yeah, certainly they're certainly you, the one, any. Yeah, one yeah. you've seen is completely new to me, but there's definitely some yeah. that, are, that are, you know, definitely so there. What, I mean, the first what was one, the bugs you encountered? Yeah, yeah, what yeah so they? the first one was I, was I was fighting my, you know, when you're fighting along with the Geth hiding behind the chairs on this platform and yeah. you're working towards yeah. the train. All of a sudden, the sound on everything except the music just disappeared. Yeah. Were you so the playing music with headphones? No. Okay, because there is an issue I with deliberately, headphones. That we're I know, aware. and I read about that, so I deliberately didn't play with headphones. I would normally, with a game that's got this big grand, you know, all the music and playing mm -hmm. and the scenes and everything, I usually would play with headphones because I'd want that, you know, I'd want to be in the action and really listening to it with my new fantastic Microsoft headphones. But I didn't <laughs> on this occasion because I'd read the the, the the blurb about it being there being some issues, so I thought I'll just, I won't, I don't want to complicate the issue. I yep. will just play through the tv and just in the middle of this fire fight all of a sudden every other piece of uh, uh, audio just disappeared apart from the music and i'm firing and i'm just that you can't hear anything and it's really really disconcerting i mean again it's not game breaking but it's really weird when you're playing and your guns aren't making a noise or you can't hear them shooting at you it really it's amazing you, you don't yep. really think about it on a day-to-day -day basis how much audio impacts how you play and how much you enjoy what you play because if it's not there it's just it is nothing it's soulless. Yeah, it creates it's the atmosphere, gone. doesn't it? It does. It does. So I'm, I'm fighting my way down, and then I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have to start the whole blooming mission again. If this doesn't kick back in, I'm going to. And I've, I've literally fought my way all the way to the end. So I really don't want to have to do the first mission again if I don't, uh, you know, start from the beginning again. Uh, but just as I got to the end of the platform and killed the last Geth, it came back on again. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And then I didn't right. experience it again. So it was just that particular section. It just no sound. So I, I have to say, I, I was going to say, I actually wanted to say, talk to you about this. I know we talked about it. 
I actually, on hindsight, have had that bug happen on the 360. So I think that's a legacy bug, but it's quite a rare one. But the other one you've seen, that I have no idea yeah. about, mate. So yeah, the other, the other one, one it's, it, it's comic. It would be comical. It's it hilarious to watch with a video, but it is not hilarious to play. Okay, so Ashley, and we know all how everybody loves Ashley. I don't mind her; she's all right. But everybody hates Ashley, especially Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's like my, my wife hates Ashley as well. She's played Mass Effect. She, she's like in the scene where you get to kill her off. She's like, yeah, Ashley, you're going down. Spoilers. Um, she hates... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the fact of the matter is. Statue of Limitations is up on that one, mate. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You literally walk around a corner and all of a sudden she's popping up inside of my head. And it's like she's stuck to my right foot. So <laughs> and I can't I can't direct her. So, like, Caden, I can use the whole go over here, but Ashley, I can't. So she's literally stuck to my right-hand side. So every time I move a bit to the right, she's bobbing up and down in front of my face, and I can't I can't see where I'm going, and I'm trying to fire, and it won't let me fire because Ashley is in front of me, and she's, like, bobbing, and it's, like, it, it's, 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 it's hilarious. Like I said, it really ruined my experience. We had the whole thing that. where I had to disarm the four bombs and kill the big squad of Geth that were there, and I was just—I was hating it. I was like, get, "Get out of the! I can't! I can't! Get, I, I cannot complete this mission!" And I did get it done eventually, but uh, and after that, I was a bit like, well, "You know, actually, I'm going to go away and play something else for a while." And I haven't actually gone back, and I will. But it was not a pleasant experience. I, I'm actually at the Citadel and I've wandered around there, but I haven't gone and done any more missions. I've just been wandering around talking to people. But it was kind of like that was my first mission. And that was the experience. Two major bugs in the first mission it was not a good experience for me, sadly. But overall, I'm not dis dismissing the game just because of that. It's just a shame. It's a real shame that that was my experience. Um, but I fully intend, as I said before, and I'll keep everybody updated, I, I fully intend to play it all the way through. I am obsessed at the moment with catching crabs and hitting trees and killing sharks with scrambled meat. <laughs> but when, that's, when, when that obsession has passed by, I'll be diving headlong first into Mass Effect. But that yeah. was my experience in the first couple yeah, of days. Yeah, um, mate, uh, I, I feel for you, genuinely, mate, because yeah. like, it's... it's I totally get it because if you have one of those bad experiences off the bat, especially that early in it, it can be a real off-putting thing. And I'm actually like my first impressions of the of, of the Legendary Edition were frustrating as well because of the fact that the headphone glitch existed. So I had it all pre-installed. I stayed up till midnight. You know, I was going to start. It. Oh, here we go. I stayed stay. I stayed up till midnight. I never go to bed before about two in the morning. At the, at the minute, anyway, because <laughs> yeah. of, like, not needing to get up for anything. But anyway, um, of not having a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, there are other downsides we don't necessarily need to talk about, but you know. Um, so anyway, I, I fired it up and I, I got to the you know Mass Effect Legendary Edition, accepted the terms and conditions, push any button to start, pushed it, crashed a dash, and I was like, "What?" Yeah, I went around that like five, yeah. maybe six times. Yeah. I, I got to about four, four. I think it was the fourth one. I went right, got on the Google machine, and I googled it, and it was like a few articles saying there's a a bug in Mass Effect Legendary Edition where if you've got any extra peripherals like wireless headphones because you know they're not a common accessory to use while gaming <laughs> you, you know uh, it will crash the game straight to dash and i was like are you having a laugh uh, and then um, so like initially after that i was like well done ea well done bioware what a way to drop the ball as an intro to this you know like you you've, you've put it out there we, we fire it up and we can't even start the game you can work around it by simply just having your headphones off when you sign in, as soon as you push the A button to log into the game, you can turn your headphones back on and it's fine. But it's just like, how can you... That, that, it, it raises questions about playtesting, right? It, it does raise questions about playtesting. I'm not saying that it's the playtester's fault. I'm just saying, did someone playtest this at any point? You know, did, did, did Bioware just, you know, just throw it out? I don't know what's happened. But yeah, I've said this about other games before then. There are yeah, some bugs where you just think, how could you not have seen this? You can explain away some things with the, you know, obviously yeah. the much larger player base for an online game and stuff like that. But bugs yeah. like this, you're like, how can nobody yeah. have noticed yeah. through what should be an extensive playtesting? Yeah, is that, exactly that, mate. I think with, with, like, we've had it with, with Cyberpunk, there have been bugs where you're like, how did you not spot this? There have been bugs with Outriders where you're like, how did you not spot this? And there have been bugs with other games as well, but they're just the two that spring instantly to mind at the minute. Yeah. But um it was like, come on. And uh, so I got into my play eventually and I started. Um, and I'm kind of in this weird place of it. I love Mass Effect. You can see I'm just like daubed out in Mass Effect gear. I have Mass Effect tattoos. Um, and I think I'm in a position where... Uh, and I've got Mass Effect socks. 
I do have Mass Effect socks. Oh, um, oh two pairs of Mass Effect socks, but no Mass Effect underpants. Guess we might um, want to get Ratley for Christmas then. <laughs> yep. If, if you can get me some Mass Effect underpants, I'm all down for Mass Effect underpants. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but um, but uh, I'm concerned you'll turn up just wearing those, though. You know it. Sexy times. Um, <laughs> the, like, but the problem I've got is this: that this is a prime opportunity because I've always said Mass Effect is one of my. It, it's one of my favorite games mass effect series is my favorite series of games ever i'd probably say mass effect 2 is my favorite because it's the most sort of balanced of the whole lot and it tells the best story with the most mm -hmm. fun gameplay engagement etc but mass effect 1 the problem with mass effect 1 has always been mass effect 1 gets in the way of mass effect 1 in that the systems are very clunky you know there's a lot of like little bugs here and there and and i thought that this was a prime time for bioware to do a little bit of work and maybe give us combat they were like, oh, we tweaked the combat to make it more like Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. It's like, no, no, you haven't. What you've done is you've toned down the class requirements on the guns, so all guns are usable off the bat, and you've taken away some of the class requirements of other guns. It doesn't play like Mass Effect 2 or 3 in combat. It plays like Mass Effect 1 in combat. So the combat's still janky and bit, a bit crap, which is a real shame because this is a prime opportunity for you to do something about that and make the game more connected to the whole trilogy and make the game more fun to play. Um, yeah, they said like, oh, we've tweaked the Mako control, so the Mako's more mm -hmm. controllable. Yes, it oh, is. We've given but you not Jane really. the same Jane Shepherd. Yeah, that well, that's good. I like that. It's really good because Femme Shep was really <laughs> yeah, under but, under but, under. Sort but of you using know, in the scheme of things, I, I think I would have preferred a yeah. big factor on the <laughs> combat more well, than thing the Jane. This this, well, this leads me to my point. Available. This, this leads me to my point of it's lazy in terms of an uh, a, a, a collected legendary edition. I, I think it looks very pretty at points and there's some very cool stuff they've done with the graphics and I'm very happy that whilst yes the character models are very janky like you say Alan like there's some very like lips going on you know it doesn't really have that movement which improves in two and three again you know um it's nice to see them do really, but when you look back at all what they've promised they're gonna do like it's all done with AI upscaling all these new textures like you've basically just run it for an AI upscaler um, you've changed the HUD a little bit and you've changed and, and removed a few of these bits and pieces, but you've done no real substantive work, it feels like, on the game. And that's disappointing for me. I mean, I, again, I'm not saying it's bad and I'm not saying don't play it. I would actually encourage you, regardless of the fact it's got janky and a bit crap combat, to stick with Mass Effect because, honestly, the story is just, ph just phenomenal and it only gets better into two. And three, whilst it has the controversial engine, is just until the ending is literally a perfect game you know it's so good it brought me to tears on three occasions in that game you know <laughs> like it's um and uh, it's, it's 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 stunningly good but that can't disguise the fact that this edition has problems and like alan says there's bugs and i had a bug which i know is a bug from the 360 which still persists which is i was on the mars mission or the, the the moon mission the, the rogue vi mm -hmm. um and one of my squad mates rex was knocked out while he was against a wall um and so he fell through the wall when he when he got knocked out and then when i read him using unity he was on the other side of the wall and that's where he stayed and there was no way to get him out of that other side of the wall i could but this is where it gets really cool if i left the bunker he wasn't there got into the mako and then got out of the mako he was back went back into the bunker he was stuck in the wall again it's like <laughs> so the only way to get him out of the wall was to deliberately kill myself and uh, and he came back. Reload. I literally had to complete that bunker, move to the next bunker, die, and then of course the game goes. Oh no 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 no! You have to do the whole mission again, not just this bunker. You got to do the first bunker again, and then come back. And I was like, and and given what I've said, insanity combat with that, I was a bit like, you can go yourself. You know, <laughs> it was a it was a moment where I very got very frustrated, and I, I I'm so annoyed with Bioware. For being lazy with this they had the opportunity in my opinion to just sharpen up mass effect bring it forward make it feel a bit more modern it didn't need to be like revolution revolutionized it just had to be just they had to be this is a lazy upgrade i'm going to be that's the way i see it at the minute it's a very lazy upgrade the ai upscaling is great it does look good it plays like mass effects always played so i can't they disagree did. with you chris to be honest i mean as i said it it, it, it definitely looks nice in the the textures yep. of the of the actual environments yep but uh, and the, the game is, hasn't well. been changed and the combat hasn't been changed so what have they, they changed exactly they did say specifically like they they said specifically they weren't going to do any more work than just tweaks because they said it will be 
too much work to update it yeah, into but, a but new this engine. This is the problem, it's, isn't it? It's I, like, I, I want to like... pay for a remaster. Yeah. I want a remake. <laughs> Of le- yeah. I, that's what I want. The, when, I was th- when it came out, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, I'm thinking, wow, you're bringing it up into 2021. Mm, that yeah. it's going to be a game for uh, for the for this generation as well because they deserve it. And it's not. It's the same game with a bit of spit and polish. Do you know what's yeah. disheartening about this? And this is where I'm going. This is my, this is my, where I'm going to get to. This. They kept saying about how the PC modding community was their go-to. Like they, they saw what the PC modding community was doing with it and were like, we want to make that thing. Now, the PC modding community has done basically everything they've done in the Legendary Edition for years, and it was free. <laughs> um, the PC modding community has also improved combat <laughs> via mods, right? Mm. If the modding community can do this and make it better, you're Bioware, this- you're EA, <laughs> you've got the resources. Do it for God's sake. I mean, as I totally agree with you again, Chris. I say again, Mass Effect, even with, with the original version, is a fantastic game and should be played, if only for the story to lead up to two and three. But at the moment, from what I'm looking at, it seems more like a cash grab than an opportunity to improve a game that was already really good. Yeah, yeah. And I, I want to be really, really clear here, and I want to be just really crystal clear. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I'm saying this, and I sound like I'm being really negative, right? And I, I am. Yeah. which is not what I wanted to be about Mass Effect Legendary Edition. <laughs> um, I, I, I am saying this because I am... It, like, these are my favourite games ever, and you've wasted an opportunity to bring in more people to this wonderful franchise, reinvigorate this franchise, and give it more. Now, don't get me wrong, I also wanted a... I wanted it to be a legacy edition available, so I wanted you to do exactly what you've done, but I wanted to have a better version as well, a more modern playing version, a slicker version. So... It's that's... it's a really really tough call for me, but at the minute I'm kind of middling on the Mass Effect remaster, yeah. Which is, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it and I will love it and it's gonna be great. I mean, the thing that I will say is this: like going back to Mass Effect, I never played Mass Effect for the com- combat. And if you play Mass Effect for the combat, you're playing the wrong game. It's not a shooter. It's a it's a it's an RPG. Um, and the being back on the Normandy and talking with these characters and realizing how good these characters are has. It, that is exactly why I wanted to play Mass Effect again. And, and so regardless of all the bad stuff I've said, I will say this. I've spent a few hours talking to crew members. I've done a couple of like missions. And I love the way Mass Effect generates missions to you. Like you'll randomly pick them up from conversations or from elevator, the things you hear in the lifts. And and I love the way you'll... you'll, you'll like I, I arrived at a planet and I didn't really remember what planet was. I just dropped into a planet and uh, I went to this fort that was there. And Rex went, oh, I know who runs this place. And I was like, oh, this is Rex's, like, armor mission. And normally I would have picked that up from Rex, chatting to him on the Normandy. And he said, oh, this guy's got my family armor. We need to go get it. But because I got there first, Rex just chimes in going, this this dude's a bad dude. He's got my stuff. And we go, right, let's go get it then, Rex, you know? Yeah. So I love the way that there's no, it doesn't, like, it doesn't force you to to discover the mission that way. It does that. So there's so many things to love about Mass Effect. And if you've never played it, you're doing yourself a disservice as a gamer to not spend time in Mass Effect. The characters alone are worth it. And whether they, whether they bring out the worst in you or the best in you, like I, I spent, I had two conversations with Ashley and I was like, I really want to set fire to her. Um, <laughs> you know, like she says some stuff and I was like, what, oh. what did you say about Ashley? What, I, I don't well, mind her. She's well, all right. Have, have a few conversations with her, mate. Um, I and, have. She's all right. Yeah, well, once once you get, so, so she's all right until you get onto the Normandy and then some of the stuff she starts saying on the Normandy, like, that's a bit. Oh, I don't yeah, really like the way you're. So once I start trying to do the character, idea, I, better, I better make sure I listen to it before I start getting an affiliation. Yeah. Towards so the basically, um, I said it to someone earlier. I said Ashley is the perfect like um, rep- representation of that safe middle America that, that at first glance seems quite lovely and quite nice, and you're like, I quite like this. And then in comes the casual racism, and then in so comes the casual here. racism. And then in comes the God Squadness. Now I've got nothing against religion, but there's a way it's delivered. And Ashley is just like, she's Middle America. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> sorry to any Middle America <laughs> listeners. But like, yeah. it's all the all the things where it's it's so it's she's so innocent until like all of a sudden like the, the nastiness starts creeping in. And you're just like, you're not really a very nice person, are you? You know, I quite liked you. And then there's something she can do later on, which I won't spoil because it's such a great moment if you don't know what happens. But there is something she can do where when I found that out, I was like, don't care. From now on, 
You are nothing to me. You are the, the lowest of the low. You are pond scum and I will leave you to you know, whatever fate that may be. I've no interest in connecting with you. I just so, think yeah. the main thing here for me is that it's such a missed opportunity. Yes, 100%. I think, I, 100%. I think they could have, if they put the time and the effort in, as I said, they could have produced a mass effect. And I haven't played number two or three yet, but from what I have played, it just feels like there was minimal effort put into yep. it. No matter what Minimal they, effort, maximum so, turn. Yeah. It doesn't Sorry. look like something that, it doesn't look, when you look at Resident Evil 2, remake and i haven't played number three so i can't comment on it you can see it's a remake they've taken the source material and they've taken the original game and they've tried to emulate as much as possible but they've made a game that is a uh, brought up to the current generation mass effect legendary edition is not it is mass effect from back in the day with mods with, and with a few yeah with a few extra shiny surfaces that's what so, all it is so question for you then given the choice do you want the original Mass Effect remastered like Resident Evil 2, or do you want a new Mass Effect game? Completely I, new, I, new story. I want a new characters. Mass Effect game, but right, I, would have, that, I would have liked if, if yeah, I would have liked them to go. That's what they're doing. Yeah, I know. That was are. one of the things they said. They said we can either remaster the original Mass Effect as a new game, but it's time, resources, money. It's sold as a, a premium game, or we do a new game do and it's, they're doing I, I the new game why, though. I don't see why it's a choice. Like that, you know, like I, I know it's that all it's all about like, the only... time frame and the money on return, isn't it? And it that's it's all it about is. EA basically going, we, we don't want to spend yeah. any more money on it. We'll go do a cash grab is what it is. And that's the exactly. fact that, that, is. Yeah, that goes back to and, my whole cash back. Yeah. Like the legendary. And, if, 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 if it's not a question of having to choose, all of us are already saying if they remade Mass Effect, the original game, as they did with Resident Evil 2, yeah, with whole new, you know, uh, everything completely brand new but the same the same game yeah mm -hmm. then i would buy it i'd pay 40 50 60 quid for it because 100%. that's what it should have been in my 100 percent. i would bought one yes, game i also want one a game. new mass effect game mm -hmm. please give me both i want both thank this, you very much uh, that, 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 that point phil and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna label this we don't want to go on too much longer we've already spoken yeah, way to too much on this short now <laughs> so the point is this that right there of saying well we can either do this or this you know is is properly them emotionally blackmailing fans they're like well if you don't want a legendary edition where we give you nicer graphics you just don't get it at all and we won't make another one tough it's like it's proper childish like thing it's like look you could have you could have sold me mass effect one legendary edition for 60 quid with improved combat graphics etc and spent some time on it and i'd have paid for it then you could have sold me mass effect 2 for 60 quid yep. legendary edition yep. and then mass effect 3 mm -hmm. to tell me that you couldn't do that for financial implications is nonsense you could have, yeah. you could have, if they'd have taken the time and the love it deserves, because this is one of the greatest games ever made. Please we would take have all, my money. We would have thrown money at them. I mean, I don't just yeah, mean a true. little bit. We would have all thrown money at them and everyone, and there would have been no debate. Now, I know I'm being Not hard that. and I know I'm being harsh, but at the end of the day, it is lazy and it's a shame that it's a waste of opportunity. But having said that, do not, do it's not miss it. Mass effect. Do not miss yeah. it. It's still Mass Effect. It's still exactly. a fantastic game. Yeah. Play it. Okay. Sorry, I'm Let's just I'm, move I'm, on. Gotta get that off my chest. Gotta get that off my chest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we'll wait and see what they do with new Mass Effect, and maybe that'll make it all better. <laughs>